hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be a little different i'm just gonna be doing a chit chat um while i smoke some hookah and have some wine um so i'll show you guys my hookah setup so this is my hookah really cute or girly i know um and gonna have some wine it's a good one um, and we're just going to talk about a few things that's kind of been on my mind um, during this quarantine and um, some of the things that I've been seeing uh, on YouTube. So, first things first that I want to talk about is definitely going to be um, the whole small YouTuber movement. Do not get me wrong. I absolutely love this movement and I love that everyone's trying to support others to help them get to their 1k mark and more. But here's the thing that I don't like. So the whole point of this is support each other, meaning not just only subscribe, but go actually look at the person's page, actually go and look at their videos, help them out the same way that they're helping you out. And the one thing that I have came to notice is I went and supported a whole lot of people just throughout some of the videos that I watched and the shit wasn't returned. Like truly, it wasn't returned. Don't get me wrong, like you're not obligated to, but you know, the thing is, let's support each other. Like, let's grow together. So if we're supporting each other, support for support, you would think, okay, I'm subscribing to your channel. I'm going in. I'm turning on notifications. I'm liking videos. I'm commenting. Because some of the content is actually really, really good. Um, so you would think that they would at least go back and do the same. No, they just taking the subscribe, the subscriptions and the subscribers and keeping it moving. Like, that's not the point of this. That's not the point of the movement. It doesn't make any sense to do so. And if you're going to do that, the whole point of it is for you to not do it. The point is don't take a subscriber and then you subscribe to that person's channel. And then the next day later, you unsubscribe. Like, that's not supporting. And don't think that we can't actually see it because if you actually have the YouTube dashboard, the YouTube creator studio in your dashboard, you can see who actually goes in and un who will subscribe and then unsubscribe to your channel. So it would be petty of me to go back and do the same to all of the people who did do so. Like, I get it. We all trying to gain followers. We're all trying to gain subscribers. We're all trying to get it to that monetization mark. But... The one thing about it is you putting yourself in a bad situation when you sit there and you do something like that because then it makes people not want to support you. Like, it's shady and I don't like it. I'm sorry. And I'm if ain't nobody else going to speak up on it, I definitely will because that's we not doing that over here. Like, I'm supporting you because I genuinely want to support you. But here's the thing. The point of supporting you is also to have the support back. That's the whole point of the movement. Small YouTubers helping each other out. So for you to go in and subscribe and then turn right back around the next day and unsubscribe, that defeats the damn purpose of doing it. Like, that's stupid. I'm sorry, but I had to get that off my chest. It really it really bothered me that people are actually out here doing that. And it's to the point, like, do I be petty and childish and go behind and just go ahead and just unsubscribe to all of the ones who went and unsubscribed to me? Like, do you not realize like when you look at the analytics that's actually hurting the person but you gaining off of it though right like come on now it's it's ridiculous and if you're not gonna actually sit there and subscribe to the person's channel or support don't ask for the damn support because you're not supporting back like that's not how we not that's not how we do that and that's not what it's about it's not out here for you to use people for subscribers it's literally for you to grow and help the next person grow that's the whole point like all you doing is acting you're acting like an ass excuse my language but that's truly what it is you're acting rude and I don't like it I really don't like it and it's caused me to kind of just take a step back from you know actually going out and supporting more youtubers uh because of the situation it's just like how do i know if i go and support you that you're not going to support me back or how do i know that you're going to go and support me and subscribe and then two days later you unsubscribe like that that's a waste of that's a waste of time that's a waste of networking the whole point is to network 
And it's just like, y'all don't even know how to network properly. Like, come on now. Like, stop. Like, what are we, five? Come on. Don't do that. Don't be shady. I don't know. That just really pissed me off uh, for the past day or two. Um, and it just, it, it, it just had to be addressed. Sorry. Not sorry. It had to be addressed. And if it has to be me, the one who addresses it, Oh, well, so be it, because I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, this person supported me, this, that, and the third, but then you turned around and unsubscribed. Like, that defeats the purpose, the entire purpose. <sighs> but on to the next. So I work in the hospitality industry. So... I work at a hotel as a front office manager. So because of COVID-19 right now, my hotel is shut down, which forces us to be laid off. So we have to get unemployment. When I tell y'all, I've never applied for unemployment in my life. I had to call my mama <laughs> to even find out how to do, how to go about it all. But this has been like literally the longest journey in life as far as like waiting to get approved for unemployment, waiting for payment, waiting for the card. Like I asked my mom, I'm like, have you applied for unemployment ever? Like, is this usually how it goes? And she's like, yeah. She's like, they actually are working faster than normal. I'm like, what? This is fast? Where? How? I don't understand. It's just like, I applied for unemployment. I've been out of work now for a little over a month. Like, it's been like a month and like um, like two weeks now. Yeah, it's been like a month since March. So, I got a letter in the mail like two weeks ago saying that it was approved. Then I just got a mail in the letter, a letter in the mail, I'm sorry saying today that my first payment was actually like sent out and I'm like oh okay cool so now I'm sitting here waiting for the card to actually come through because they get and give me an option to like have it direct deposited to my regular account I guess they make you they they force you have to get this card um so that's gonna be annoying because I absolutely hate Bank of America <laughs> like their fees are absolutely ridiculous. Bank of America gets you with those fees. Um, if you know, you know. But to each its own. So, now I'm sitting here waiting. Then my mom's like, oh, well, you know, since you, you got approved for unemployment, you qualify for unemployment, you now qualify for food stamps. So let me tell y'all about the whole issue with me applying for food stamps. So the first time I applied, I don't know if I did it right or if I did it wrong, but it came back and it was like denied. And I'm like, houseway, how? So I'm not sure if the lady put somebody else's information onto my stuff and got stuff misconstrued and mixed up because what she input on my denial letter did it match up to what I put in on my application? Like, it did not make sense. And I get it. Like, they're working from home, a lot of them, doing all of this. And a lot of them have kids that's, you know, basically virtually going to school through the internet, which is another hassle. Um, I don't have kids, by the way, so I don't have to deal with that hassle, thankfully. Um, but one of my friends, she's a teacher. So we sit and we talk about oh, the lack of effort the parents are giving to the kids to make sure that they actually do it. And the fact that there's parents out there that's actually doing their kids work for them. Like that defeats the damn purpose. It's just like you don't go to school for them. You make them do that work when they go to school. So treat it as such. Like don't just do the work for them. That that your child won't be left behind. Then you're going to be mad when your child got to redo a whole nother grade because of this situation. 
And in Maryland, we have the No Child Left Behind Act, which means they have to, like, you can fail them or you can give them a 60. And they drop the passing grades from 70s to 60s. So if your child gets a 60, they still pass and they can still move on to the next grade. But truth be told, they didn't really get what they needed to get. So they still a whole grade level behind, even though they moved on to the next grade. I'm sorry, but you you jeopardizing your child's educational future there like i don't understand that i never have my parents were very very strict on education growing up my my stepfather was a professor at a college and he did not play when it came to school and neither did my mom that was one thing i could have missed a million days of school but guess what my parents made sure that they went and got work packets for me when i missed school okay i was at home doing work It's just like, you know, I don't, it, it's a lot going on. But oh, back to the food stamp situation. See what I mean? I ramble. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't understand. So I get the denial letter and I'm like, okay, this is stupid. So I reapplied again. Same information and everything. So now I'm just waiting, I guess, to hear back from that. But I'm just like, that information didn't match up. And then they tell you to call the number to call your caseworker. This hoe never answers the phone not only does this hoe not ever answer the phone she never even returns the voicemails that you send so it's like what the hell am i calling you for but yet you went in and you denied my stuff don't get me wrong i don't necessarily need it but it will help especially with me not being on my regular income like i make damn good money doing what i do so it's like me being on half of my income because you get um unemployment on a weekly basis so you basically get half of what you would normally make so i'm just like this is absolutely ridiculous like at this point any little thing helps because i'm the type of person that refuses to touch my savings for this situation like granted this is a situation where thank god for having savings but if this isn't necessary for me to touch my savings i'm not touching it that's it <laughs> like I would rather keep my savings account the way it is because as soon as you start dipping into those types of accounts that's when you start to see money deplete and deplete and deplete and me personally if I don't have the income coming in to put that money back it makes no sense for me to take it out that's that's how I see it so I'm not spending um this whole quarantine situation ridiculous absolutely ridiculous like i literally go outside to either walk the lake go to the market or randomly go get starbucks that's it i don't leave the house i don't go anywhere which means like i get bored all right ain't nothing else to watch i don't feel like watching anything else i will take a nap and make the time pass just so that the day can hurry up and be over with because it's just like, I can't do this. And if we have to do this for the month of May, in addition to after doing this since March, because at first, like, they were just telling people, oh, you should stay at home. Then April came around and they're like, okay, curfew. You got to be home by 8 o'clock. Only essential workers are allowed out on the streets and you have to have your paperwork from your job. These these dummies still don't understand the point of stay your ass in the house. They don't understand it. They it's like I don't get it. I don't get it. Why? Why? Why are you not listening? Just stay your ass home so we can go back outside. And I'm usually not the type of person that that is always gonna go out. I like to stay home majority of the time and a lot of times like even if I do want to go the way my work hours are set up I don't I don't always have a chance to go out so the times when I do go out and I do get invited to things like yeah I do go um if or if I just randomly want to go out I will go out but now it's to the point of like you can't go out even if you wanted to you 
YouTube has literally been like a saving grace for me because it was like the beginning of April when I started like putting out those videos. It was because a couple mornings I woke up and I cried because I was so depressed, but I couldn't understand why I was so depressed. And it was because I'm forced to kind of be in the house. I'm used to working all the time. I am a workaholic. Like I, I am a workaholic. I will work double shifts, all of that. Just, just because I actually like to be at work. I like, I never thought that I like to be around people, but I actually really do like to be around people when working in the industry that I work in. You meet people of all cultures, nationalities, it's so much diversity. And I learned so much just about being around the people that I meet at work. So it's like, goddamn, like, I never realized how much I missed work until I actually could not go to work. Because it was times before all of this happened where I'm usually supposed to have two days off where I would have one day or no days off because I, I was at work. If somebody, if one of my employees called out, one of my agents called out, I would be at work, basically. Like, I would go in and cover the shift. Because technically, as a manager, that's what you're supposed to do. It's not based on the agents that, you know, is supposed to work. You're not supposed to put that work on them because that's not their problem. They already do enough. So, it's just like, I never thought I would miss work until now. And I really, really miss work. I cannot wait for this to go back to normal so I can go back to work. But I also miss my Marshall days. I go to Marshalls at least twice a day, okay? Because there's a Marshalls right by my job. And then there's a Marshalls by the... Okay, so where I live, there's a shopping center called Canton Crossing. And at Canton Crossing, there is a Nordstrom's Rack. There's a Target. There's a Ulta, a DSW. And there's... um. It's not a Marshalls there. But all of those, I love. Like, that's my little daily outing for the day. Like, if I get up early and I'm bored before I go to work, that's what I would do. I would go to Target, get my Starbucks. I would go look at Nordstrom Rat, work my way around to DSW. I would get my little nail salon is right there. So I would get my gel manicures and my pedicures. My wax center is right there. Like everything is literally right there. Like I can't even go out and go to the gym like I used to. Like I never thought I would miss working out, but I actually miss working out. And at home workouts is not the same. Like I had a lot more uh, motivation and control over my workouts when I was actually going out and going to work out. Um, and I went to two different gyms. I went to the regular gym, which was Planet Fitness. And then I was a part of um, this fitness group, which is a firm fitness. And we did Herbalife. That's how I got into Herbalife. And they had like workouts all throughout the week, Monday through Friday, morning sessions and evening sessions. And I tried to make sure that I went to as many sessions as I possibly could. And it was fun. Like, at first, I didn't think I would like it. You know, I'm, I'm a little standoffish. I don't really deal with people like that because I don't know. I'm really the type of person that likes to stay to self and be quiet and feel the situation out before I kind of jump in there and you be like, oh, damn, she a cool ass bitch. Yes, I really am. <laughs> but I got to fill you out first before I give you that type of interaction because everybody doesn't deserve your energy, nor should you give your energy out to everybody. Um, because a lot of times they get that negative energy and I am a bit of an empath. So I take on that negative energy and I don't got time for that. So this, this, this has definitely taught me a lot. But it, one thing it has taught me is to utilize my creative outlets a little bit more. Um, I definitely want to throw out some more videos. And explore a little bit more with uh, hair and makeup. Um, a lot of beauty supply stores being closed. Um, it's kind of hard to get some of the supplies that I need. But my childhood best friend, she does um, have like a beauty supply, a black owned beauty supply store. Um, but her location is closed. So she does like um, meetups and deliveries. So... When I randomly get the energy to go ahead and do so, I miss the times where I can, you know, meet up with her or schedule a delivery. Um, 
so it's a little hard but i do want to go ahead and get some supplies so i can get some wig construction videos out for you guys um i do actually make my own wigs um i do install my own hair most of the time i prefer not to always go to a shop because a lot of times i get mad when i go to the shop and i feel like i could have did this myself <laughs> that's the type of work not saying that my work isn't great but it's the simple fact of for the money I paid you, this is the same quality of work that I could do myself. I could have saved that $300 and just made a wig and did it myself. So it's just, whew, that's a lot. I ain't even going to get on the whole subject of that, especially with these hairstylists here in, in Baltimore. Like, mm -mm. and yes, I do live in Baltimore. Um, we get a bad rep here, but truthfully, it's not what everybody thinks. But this whole situation has literally like been driving me star crazy. So what I plan to do So what I plan to do is I plan to make this as if I was actually getting up for work every single day. So my, my goal is to get at least one video recorded and edited and posted every day for as long as I can. So I need you guys support. I need the motivation help keep me going because sometimes it does get discouraging um at times because it's just like i'm posting this video and nobody's really watching or am i actually reaching anybody and i don't want my videos just to be about hair and makeup um i do want to you know talk about some topics and you know give you guys some story times i got stories for days <laughs> about some of the things that i've done in my younger years um so i definitely want to start implicating those types of videos onto my channel um as soon as possible i just have to stay in good spirits and stay motivated to do so so I will definitely try my best to make sure that I do. I also want to do a um, get to know me tag video. So if you have any questions, um, you can DM me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram is almost the same as my channel handle. My Instagram is one crazy gemini all together um, and i'll kind of show you guys it is all lowercase so it's not it's not getting it oh let me turn the brightness down that'll probably help it so Mm, and you can see so that's my page one crazy gemini dm me on instagram ask me some questions um don't go go buck wild crazy asking me a whole bunch of like crazy outrageous questions um but if you guys do do so um uh, i will um dedicate a video to answering some of those crazy questions um I don't know um i haven't seen a lot of my friends we kind of just do like facetime chats and kind of check up on each other you know do friend checks make sure everybody's still sane and good talk about things um just to kind of make sure that we're all and trying to stay in good spirits um being in the house because sometimes it does affect your mental health when you're in the house me personally i suffer from anxiety um and it got worse um so i am gonna do a story time on um on that uh because 
that that definitely has its own story and its and its whole um and i didn't realize it until after the situation had happened how bad it actually was so i would like for you guys to continue watching continue subscribing um I'm trying to at least say, okay, let's make it to 50. Um, and if I make it to 50, I definitely want to do a little small giveaway when I make it to 50. Um, and then, of course, when I make it to 100, I'll do another small giveaway then. Um, I really want to make it to 1K. Uh, but, again, sometimes it takes people a while to get there. And... Um, Everybody isn't that, ah, I'm so outgoing type of person. That's not how everyone is. And I'm not going to fake that I'm that type of person because I'm not always that type of person. I'm usually really chill, really mellow, which a lot of you guys are. Um, so. I refuse to give a fake personality on here when that's not really me. Like. I'm not going to do it and I, I, I'm i sorry, I'm just not. I'm not going to fake my personality. I'm going to show you guys the real me, my real personality. And just, you know, have fun with you guys and get to know you guys as well. So continue watching. Bye.